Okay, so now let's talk about flash loans. I've mentioned them a number of times, and this is something that's very special in the DeFi uh, space. So uh, think about traditional finance. So um, it's really hard to think about a flash loan in traditional finance. So if you think about traditional finance, you've got a loan rate, and the loan rate depends upon the riskiness of the party that is borrowing. Uh, it depends on the maturity of the loan. And the idea is the longer the loan, uh, the higher the, um, the loan rate, because over a longer period of time, it gives a higher chance that something bad might actually happen. And interest rates are generally higher at longer maturity. So the term structure or the yield curve um, usually slopes uh, upward. So that's how uh, a traditional uh, loan uh, works. So the longer the duration of the loan, the higher uh, the rate. Okay, so we're gonna talk about something that is much different, a zero duration loan. Okay, so, so how does that work? So the idea here is that the shorter the duration of the loan, the less risky the loan should be. So with lower risk, then the rate on the loan will be lower. So the flash loan is instantaneous. So it happens within the same transaction. And, and don't confuse this with like an overnight loan. Like banks do overnight loans all the time. Because that's overnight. And a lot can happen overnight. So this is different. It happens within a single uh, transaction. Okay, so this is important to understand in the context of what we've been talking about um, in terms of the atomic nature of these transactions and, and how these transactions are actually structured, potentially using um, a complex a transaction that's got many steps that interact with many different smart contracts on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So, one thing that is really interesting here is that we'll start out with the loan, but uh, if anything happens, so that uh, if, the, if there's any issue in the different steps, at the beginning we start with the loan, at the end of the transaction we pay off that loan. If there's anything that happens, we revert to the original state as if nothing has happened. Okay, so, so basically uh, we can go and do a, a flash loan, indeed with no collateral, because effectively there's no risk because it's being paid back immediately. And if there's any problem that's encountered in the transaction, it's as if nothing happened. We revert to the original uh, state. Okay, so uh, again, this is a, a very uh, interesting uh, possibility. So let's think about the, the risks here. Um, there's, there's no counterparty risk, and there's no duration risk. So we'll, and I've got plenty of examples on this. We're gonna take advantage of some arbitrage opportunity. We'll be buying and selling. We take the loan to start things off. We're going to be buying on one contract, selling on another contract, and then paying off the loan. And whatever's left over is going to be our profit. Okay, so this could be an arbitrage transaction. This could be somebody just refinancing their loan at a cheaper rate. So there's lots of uh, possibilities uh, here. And um, it, it also is something that speaks to the democracy of decentralized finance. 
that this mechanism is available to anybody. I will show uh, later on a transaction, and we don't know who it is, and it might be somebody of modest means that takes out a flash loan of the equivalent of $200 million and does a series of transactions and then pays it off and makes a profit. So think about that in traditional finance. Who's going to be able to do that? Like a hedge fund? Okay, so, so this is a very, very powerful uh, idea. So I don't want to give the impression that there's no risk here in, um, in the total sense. There's no counterparty risk. There's no duration risk because this happens in a single transaction. But there's always risk. And the risk is uh, smart contract risk, which I go into great detail in the fourth uh, course in this learning uh, experience.